my name is Guy Walters and I'm a historian and an author and a journalist and I was born in London, I studied in London, I lived in London and it's a city I've always loved. But what I'd like you to imagine is what the city would have been like back in the 1940s, during the Second World War. And what I want to talk to you about is a mystery. It's a mystery that teaches us so much about what people were like in the capital at that time, how they behaved, and how they used the war to try to cover up the most heinous crime ever, the crime of murder. And this was a murder case in a very difficult time that would change detective work and forensics forever. Because it was then that London was almost bombed to her knees by the Germans in what became known as the Blitz. In 1940, Hitler's Nazi Air Force, the Luftwaffe, began a nine-month-long bombing campaign that continued until May the following year. On September 7th, 1940, nearly 350 bombers, supported by more than 600 fighters, descended on London. The Blitz had begun. This was a concerted bombing effort. For 57 consecutive nights, the Germans bombed London. London was the center of government, it was the main port, and it was where the people were gathered in the greatest density. So by bombing the city, that surely would bring England to its knees. Blitz attack meant you'd have 100 enemy bombers over one target at one time. But of course, the enemy didn't just have one target. This runs from August of 1940 through to November. And throughout that period, there was not one night when the bombers weren't over. If you can imagine 57 nights of consecutive bombing, you probably have lost your home or it was been really damaged. You've probably lost quite a lot of your possessions. You don't know where your loved ones are. It must have been terrifying. And what surfaces? It's the, you know, we're not going to give in. We're not going to give in, you know? This is happening. We're going to get through it. So you get this blitz spirit coming up. Blitz spirit is the notion that when you're faced with this huge threat, that you're going to stand up to it together, you're going to link arms. Of course, there's this iconic poster that's associated with the British during the war, the Keep Calm and Carry On poster. Now, actually, it's now become uh, kind of very much associated with this whole idea of Blitz spirit. Although there was a blitz spirit, there was a serious flip side to it. And actually, what our story tells us is that there was something far darker going on in London at this time. 